You guys, look at how beautiful the snow leopard is. Oh, I love these spots. Look at them. They're like gorgeous grayed out rosettes that just cover the snow leopard's coat. Oh my gosh. Pug owned did an amazing job of creating this one. And that's wonderful for us because now it means that today in our random pets laboratory challenge, we are going to be mixing snow leopard jeans. So welcome back, my friends. And I figured since we have been celebrating all things snowy with our Red Lantern series and the arrival of snowy escapes in The Sims 4, I thought it would be really fun to go ahead and work with a snow leopard today. And what is another wonderful creature in the beautiful winter wonderlands where it snows quite often that we enjoy? The Arctic Fox! And not only did I already think that mixing a fox and a snow leopard would be a fascinating to see, thing to see in our genetic experiments, but Kalino, the fantastic creator of so many of the amazing custom content mods that we work with here in our laboratory challenge, has recently put out a new Arctic Fox that she created herself, and I wanted to see this little cutie here in the lab so that we could mix their genetics and see what we end up with. So that is the two animals that we're going to be working with today. And as usual, they have a fantastic epic love story. This one's a little bit interesting since we have Fawn, the snow leopard, which makes me wonder what it would be like to combine a snow leopard with a deer. We'll have to shelve that experiment for next time, my friends. But Fawn, chosen from the random name generator, of course, from some of the names that you guys have left behind by leaving comments in our previous videos. Fawn is roaming through a beautiful snowy territory, looking for something to eat when she stumbles upon something quite odd. You see, it is a series of different sheep made out of snow. In fact, they're snow sheep, kind of like snowmen, except, you know, this time they're snow sheep. And as Fawn has been trying to puzzle out just exactly what is going on here and why there are, you know, sheep made out of snow scattered all over the mountainside, she bumps into the creator of those snow sheep, Kiwi! This is going to be Kiwi the Arctic Fox, and he is actually a very rambunctious sort with a lot of energy, and somehow he decided to start channeling that energy into making a bunch of snow animals. And those snow animals have brought him much delight, and he really loves it when the other animals try to hunt and pounce on his snow sheep. He finds it to be quite hilarious, he is a little bit of a troublemaker, so I like the idea that he enjoys tricking everyone. And usually he uh, watches from afar, but as he watches Fawn try to paw at and nibble on the snow sheep in confusion, he bursts out into laughter. And as he gets ready to run, because usually at that point, that's when the aggrieved bigger creature tends to go after him to soothe their ego and also to actually find lunch that's not made out of snow. Instead of getting upset this time, Fawn thought it was quite clever, quite insightful, even somewhat artistic. And it turns out that she is a lover of art, and as she praises his creations, and as the winter passes with even more beautiful snow creatures and creations being made in the forest that they share, she and Kiwi end up sharing a special bond. A bond that, as usual in our laboratory challenge, ends up resulting in babies! So let's get these jeans ready! Okay, let me go ahead and pull up the random comments generator which will of course make some of you guys end up being members of our wonderful, wonderful laboratory family. All you need to do is leave your comments down below and the random comment generator may pick you to become a snow leopard fox. Oh, I'm so I can't wait to see what these babies are gonna look like. <gasps> You're so cute. You are not the one we are going for, but you are so cute. All right, so we have Fawn, we have Kiwi. Oh, <gasps> and we have their baby. Welcome to Ava. Ava, welcome. Welcome into the family. You are the very first one born. Do you enjoy making little animals or snow, I guess, puppies, snow kits in the snow? It's snow angels when we do it. I guess it could be snow angels if, you know, a snow leopard fox was making snow angels in the snow. But Ava, welcome, welcome. You cannot produce wool, even though that's a good attempt. And you are going to be probably a trickster as well because you ended up getting the troublemaker gene, just like your dad. And you are loyal and energetic as well. So I think we're going to have quite a excitable little kit, probably ready to cause trouble the moment that she's born. Thankfully, I think Fawn has uh, quite a broad mind and enjoys seeing what the playful antics of her playful children and playful mate get up to. All right. So welcome, welcome, Ava. Let's go ahead and get you a sibling. 
All right, let me pull up the rare. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna have to come up with more snow leopard mixes because clearly there are some interesting things hiding in the genes there. All right, fawn and kiwi, your next child. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that's an unexpected turd. Your next child I think is blind with little Callisto. However, she looks like she might turn out to be an Arctic fox or maybe an albino snow leopard. Ooh, there's some uh, very interesting possibilities there. And Callisto, you are independent, active, and a hunter. So I think even though you can't see, you probably hunt very well, maybe even by scent or maybe by sound. Oh, that's so fun. I think she's gonna end up with a long tail like her mom too. All right, and then let me go ahead and we're gonna see who the next one's gonna be. Pulling up your guys' names in the random comment generator. What? Oh, you're so cute. Not the one we're going for just yet, but so cute. <gasps> oh, another all white one named Clowder. Welcome, Clowder. You guys are definitely, it's almost like we have little, little kits and puppies made out of snow now, which is freaking adorable. <laughs> Clowder, welcome, welcome. I think you too make different creatures out of snow, or at least you are a bit of a trickster like your dad because you got the troublemaker too. But you also got hunter, so you're probably good at hunting like your mom. You're a little stubborn like your dad again though. All right, Cloud, we'll have to go up and see what you grow up into. I like that we're getting like a lot of snow themed babies so far. That's really cool. All right, meanwhile, Fawn is getting ready to welcome her next baby. And then this time we have actually got little Chelsea. Okay, wow. Oh, excuse me, Golden Rose. Okay, so Chelsea, you would like to use the name Golden Rose. And in this case, we'll go for Rose. How about that? A little white rose born out here in the snowy wonderlands. I really like how we're getting so many like babies who kind of keep the snow theme out of the blue. It's gonna be fun to see if they grow up into like the fox shape or if they're going to grow up into the clouded leopard or excuse me, the, ooh, ooh, clouded leopard. Now that's another mix we could definitely do if they grow up into the snow leopard mix. Oh, now I really wanna do a clouded leopard mix, you guys. Oh, that's exciting to think about. But welcome, Rose. And I think you have some excellent ideas about perhaps crossbreeding a Maine Coon and a Raccoon in the future. Definitely keeping that in mind. All right, all right. So far, we've got a bit of a theme to our babies, but we have to have that continue to hold. Let's come over and we're going to try seeing who Okay, Ashley, what? Dude, the, the story I literally made up, literally as I was talking, the idea for the snow animal thing came to me and I made it up on the fly as I was talking. And yet here we have all of these babies who seem to be born out of the snow, which is just really cool. So now we've got Ashley. Welcome, Ashley. You can't give milk, Ashley. Good try though. However, you can be vocal, very smart and independent. Okay, we've got a lot of like independent, very clever tricksters here. I'm very curious to see what the last one's gonna look like because there's a lot of other colors that the fox has in its genes that we could potentially pass on. And so far we haven't snagged that just yet. So let's come over and see what it's gonna look like. <gasps> Jaden! Okay, I got really excited. That's not your permanent look, but that's absolutely letting me know we need to breed more snow leopards. Holy cow. And Jaden, there, we finally got spots again, you guys. Yay. I am so relieved. All right, so there we've got little Jaden. Jaden, you are active, hairy, and playful. Perfect. Oh, okay, I'm actually really happy we bookended that with a couple spotty babies. And then we ended up with two babies who actually are blind. And then we ended up with two just normal babies who have white fur. So let's see what these guys grow up into. Do you guys think they're going to have Fawn's strong jawline and slightly pointed ears? Or do you guys think they're going to end up maybe being a little smaller like Kiwi and having that big fluffy tail? Kiwi, you should have, there we go. You really should have fluffified your tail, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and see what they turn into. Ava, you're up first. <gasps> everything I was hoping for and I didn't even realize it a tiny fox snow leopard oh yes 
Sometimes I am on pins and needles when we get to this part of the experiment, you guys, because I don't know if the experiment is going to play off the way I hoped. But in this case, it absolutely did. And Ava, you turned out so freaking cute. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> I am content, I'm happy. The rest of the experiment, experiments can be as weird and wacky as possible, and I am just, you know, I'm a duck in water right now. Very happy. Callisto, you're up next, my dear. <laughs> Callisto, you're a polar bear! <laughs> Callisto has turned into a polar bear, friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe that's going to be some sort of amazing, hilarious origin story for where polar bears come from. Well, you see, once upon a time, there was a snow leopard and a fox who fell in love. Oh, that's so cool. All right, Callisto. I, I think you definitely have some size on your sister, and I can see why you're fully confident in your hunting now. You're huge. All right, Cloud, you're up next. <gasps> Cloud! Oh, a cute little white wolf with, or excuse me, white fox, pardon me, uh, with big paws adorable little ears oh i love it and i think definitely mom's eyes so we've actually got the snow leopard eyes and a little bit of the snow leopard muzzle there cloud you turned into a little oh and the fluffy tail you turned into a little cloud yourself i love it oh okay this is a really good mix you guys we're getting quite a big variety so far in the siblings so let's go ahead and see what rose turns into rose <laughs> Okay, Rose is really cute. I like how her head is a little bit big and her paws are a little bit big for her body. But you know what? She probably goes around and helps Callisto out with how to do the hunt. Rose, you're you're extremely precious. I just love your proportions. And then we have got little Ashley here. Okay. Okay. Little Ashley is not so little. Not so little. And very ready to do some hunting. Oh, Ashley, you look awesome, too. Oh, nice. All right, so we do have some good hunters. And actually, that's a huge difference between Callisto and how Ashley turned out. So hopefully they'll be able to provide for the family quite a bit. And finally, we've got little Jaden. Jaden, welcome. And you are... <gasps> Perfect. Ah, yes. This, this is delightful. This is, I think this in the end of the day was what I was kind of hoping for when we had either like a giant fox, which we kind of got, sort of, uh, not really, we mostly got polar bears, and then tiny snow leopard patterned foxes, which we got two of. This was a delightful experiment, my friends, and I think now it's safe to say we have a whole crew of troublemakers who are going to be making mysteries happen on the side of the snowy mountain and bringing lots of delight and plenty of stories to share to their mother, Fawn, who turns out to love ha watching other people be very playful and pull pranks, as long as she's, you know, not the one who's the victim of the prank. But all right, if you guys could do please leave a like for all of our adorable little snow leopard foxes. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, your little nose is so cute.